All right, today we're covering the history of the region. We're going to be covering, uh, as usual, the history in Mexico. Then we're going to start with Central America and the Caribbean islands. Let's start by uh, mentioning what about Mexico, how it was inhabited uh, in the first place. Who can read the first part? Okay, Laura, go ahead, Laura. Okay, uh, native people first, native peoples first grew corn in Mexico about 7,000 years ago. They yeah. also grew Laura, other- the first part. Mexico's, okay. Mexico's, Mexico's history. Mexi Mexico was first inhabited by Native American groups. Later, Spanish soldiers conquered the groups and ruled them. Since the early 80s, uh, Mexico has been independent. Its history is long and rich, and its accomplishments are many. Should I continue? Uh, wait one minute. As we know, as usual, that any uh, country was uh, ha uh, was having like native people to live, um, to live in it, then uh, colonists started to come. Mexico, as usual, as any country we've studied before, has Native American groups. Then the Spanish soldiers conquered this group in order to rule it. And they were coming, of course, uh, since, um, uh, since the very beginning of the history, they're coming. Uh, for gold and other resources. We're going to find out what kind of resources they were rich in in order to come and um, invade the country. Please, Yalora, complete early civilization. Okay. Native peoples first grew corn in Mexico about 7,000 years ago. They also grew other foods that, has, that have been become staples or foods that, ha, that are eaten regularly, such as corn, squash, chilies, and avocados. Farming allowed people to produce food surpluses or more than they needed to survive. Surpluses helped people specialize in jobs other than getting food. About 3,000 years ago, the Maya formed a major civilization in the region. They lived mainly in the lowland plains of Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula and in what is now um, Guatemala and Belize. One feature of their culture was great cities. The Maya erected pyramids with stepped sides and temples on top. They invented a complex system of writing. By studying astronomy, they were able to make accurate calendars. The height of Maya civilization was from about AD 300 to 8900. Then their power suddenly collapsed. Um, archaeologists do not know exactly why. All right. Let me divide this uh, paragraph into three questions of four. First of all, native people, what kind of crops they started to grow as native people? Who can tell me what kind of crops they started to grow? Hannah Haney? The staples and the, the corn, squash, cherries, and avocados. Yes. Staples means the uh, food that are eaten regularly. But what kind of groups are such as corn, squash, chilies, and avocados? These are the first people who used to live in Mexico. They started to uh, grow these kind of foods. Okay, this is number question number one. Question number two, um, we can um, know that what kind of economic activity was the dominant economic activity there? Abdullah Rashwan. What was the economic activity dominant there? Abdullah Rashwan? Uh, what, what was the dominant economic activity for people living there? Uh, Abdullah, does it require all this thinking? Yeah, and they were growing crops. So what kind of economic activity they were practicing? Agriculture. Agriculture, farming. So uh, actually, farming or agriculture has allowed people there to produce uh, food more than they needed or less. Uta. More. More, which is called? The surplus. Surpluses. Can you define the surpluses? When you produce food more than you need. 
okay, when you produce food more than you need. Once they have settled down and they have practiced farming, this has allowed them to provide uh, enough jobs in order to work uh, and to settle down. So we started as farmers, they have settled down, they have produced or specialized in many jobs in order to get food, which will help them to create what? Who can tell me? It will help them to create what? After they settle down. Try to guess, it's not written. Civilization. Civilization, thank you, Aouba. Actually, when you are settling down, you will start making your own civilization. One of the first civilizations that was formed there, the Maya. Maya was uh, one of the major civilizations that you're going to study, inshallah, next year uh, in detail. But um, uh, who can tell me the features of the uh, Maya civilization and where did they used to live? Question one, where did they, where, uh, did they uh, used to live? Hmm? Who can tell me where did they used to live? Crash? Tell me where did they used to live? Um, let's can you repeat the question. Where did they used to live? The Maya, the Maya people. They lived where? Uh, one second. In the lowlands of Mexico, Yucatan Peninsula. Peninsula. Yes, thank you. In the lowland of uh, in the plains of Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, and in what is now known as Guatemala and Belize. So the place is Guatemala and Belize. Who can tell me what are the features of the Maya civilization? What are the features of the Maya civilization? Sama? Uh, they have great cities. Sama, please raise your voice. They have great cities and pyramids with step sides and temples. Yes. So they have like three features. Thank you, Sama. Who can complete? Oh, uh, complex system of writing. Thank you, Sama, very much. Yes. They have three main features. Number one, their culture was great and they have built great cities. Number two, they have erected the pyramids with stepped sides like the pharaohs. Uh, number three, uh, and temples on top of it. And number three, they have invented a complex system of writing also like the hieroglyphics. Um, number four, you have studied Bomika complete. Uh, they have studied astronomy and they were able to make uh, accurate calendars. Thank you. They have studied astronomy and they were able to create accurate calendars. Okay. So these are the four main features of the uh, Maya civilization. Who can repeat them, please? The four main features of the Maya civilization. Farah Mahlab. Farah Mahlab. Yes. Can be the four main features of the Maya civilization. Uh, okay. Um... Uh, they they built uh, uh, pyramids uh, with uh, step sides and temples on top, mm -hmm. and they had great cities, uh, and they made uh, accurate calendars. Mm -hmm. um, we have studied which science? Astronomy. Astronomy. Thank you, Farah. Okay. The last question here: What was the height of the Maya civilization, and why did the uh, collapse? Why it did it collapse? What was the height of the Maya civilization and why did it collapse? Okay, let's see. Ahmed Hussein. Ahmed Hussein? Yes, miss. Can you tell me what was the height of Maya civilization and uh, why did it collapse? Hmm? Guys, prepare yourself. I'm going to ask every and each one of you. Dubulina, can you help Ahmed?
Dovolina. What is the question again? The question again, what's the height of the Maya civilization? And uh, how did the how did it collapse? The height of the Maya civilization was from AD 300 to yes, AD 900. Yes, to 900 AD. Why did it collapse? Um, uh, um, the archaeologists don't know why exactly. Yes, we don't know actually why did it collapse, but they have guessed it may be a natural disaster or it was a bit, a, because of war with other kingdoms, but actually we don't know for sure. After that Maya civilization will come the Aztec civilization. Who can read the next part? Hanahani? Yes. Read the Aztec civilization. Okay. The Aztecs ruled the region next. They set in central Mexico in about, in about 1700. The impressive capital city was Tenochtitlan, Mexico City. Occupies the site where it once stood. Tenochtitlan was built on an island in the middle of a lake. Both ways connected it to the mainland. The Aztecs had a complex social and religious system. They conquered many of their neighbors and made slaves of captured soldiers. Priests performed rituals to win the favor of their gods. The Aztecs were also skilled farmers. They built up land in the lake to form small islands called Shinampas, which they used to grow crops. All right, Should I continue? All right. We, uh, we're talking about the Aztec, which is the second civilization that comes in the region. Where did they settle down? And what was the capital city of the Aztecs? Okay, and uh, where was it built? Who can answer this question? Uta, go ahead. Miss, can you repeat this? Of course I can. Um, we said that the Aztec ruled the region after the Maya. Who, uh, where did they settle down? What was the name of their capital city? And um, where was it built? Uh, is the city. And it was built on an island in the middle of a lake. Hmm. Yes. Uh, complete, Johanna, please, the next point. Okay, miss. Can you go down, please? No, I want uh, this part from the Aztec. How the complex and social religious system. I read it. I know. I, I want do it. I repeat it again? Yes, I want it again. I want you to concentrate to tell me what were the features of the Aztec civilization. This is the question that you're going to answer after okay. Hannah finishes. Go ahead. The Aztec had a complex social and religious system. They conquered many of their neighbors and made slaves of captured soldiers. Priests performed rituals to win the favor of their gods. The Aztec were also skilled farmers. They built up land in the lake to form small islands called Chinampas, where they used to grow crops. All right. Here, I would like to, before you mention the features, I would like to explain this part. Actually, the Aztec were very cruel people. They were very, they had very complex social and religious system. This is feature number one. They actually were um, having wars all the time and they have conquered many of their neighbors and take slaves of captured soldiers. Number three, priests have made rituals to win the favor of gods. What kind of rituals actually is used to choose someone every day to kill him in a special way, to cut his head, his head, to cut inside the body, do some rituals in order to win the, the, uh, the God's favor. So they were very cruel people. But on the uh, other hand, they had very skilled farmers, 
and you have built all the land till the lake and you have formed small uh, islands called the Chimampas and Chimampas Island are, they do exist till today and they are very famous of growing crops, especially the coffee. Okay, so who can summarize the Aztec uh, features, the Aztec civilization features? Um, I can. You can go ahead. Um, the Aztec um, they conquered um, uh, many slaves and uh, made, sorry, conquered many neighbors and made them slaves. And they, uh, they made rituals to win the God's favor. Mm -hmm. um, but on the other hand, they were uh, skilled the farmers and they built up the, um, the um, islands called Ch 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 Chinampas. Yes. Chinampas. And to grow crops there, especially coffee. Thank you, Sama. Tomorrow, inshallah, uh, I'm going to start the session with your research about how, what kind of uh, rituals were done by the priests. What kind of rituals were done by the priests to win the favor of their gods? How was the, these rituals done? This is for your participation marks. Uh, I want you mm -hmm. to explain to me how was the Aztec religious rituals that were done with uh, by their priests in order to win the God's favor. Is it clear? Uh, miss, uh, I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, do we need uh, to send you an assignment or anything the uh, research? Assignment for what, Muhammad? Like, do we need to send the research and assignments? No, 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 no. Just to prepare the main points, and tomorrow you're going to present in front of the class. Tomorrow we have two sessions in a row. One session to complete, and the other one we're going to be like compare and contrast between the Maya and the Aztec civilizations. So prepare your notes, because I'm going to choose randomly, everyone, every, and each one of you will present like one sentence. So tomorrow prepare more about the Aztec and the Maya civilization. Tell me about their favorite capital city. Tell me about the rituals that were done by the priests in order to uh, win the God's favor. Uh, this okay, is the you. end of the session. Uh, anyone want to ask any question about this part? I know that history lesson yeah. can be a little bit complicated. That's why I'm going step by step in order to memorize it together. Yes, Yisama. Um, Sorry, well, complete contrast style to uh, civilizations. Oh. The, uh, from the book or uh, Pardo no, research? No, from the internet uh, research. Okay. Yeah. Uta, I want to yeah, ask you from the book. No, not from the book because the book has limited information. I want you to, to dig deeper and to find more information. Uta, I want to ask okay, a question? La, la, shukran. All right, yeah, let's see you tomorrow, inshallah. I hope this part is understood and inshallah tomorrow uh, we will continue. Okay, bye. Bye.